This is hilarious though. Uh. What the fuck? Looks like some sort of arena or sacrifice or something. Emperor Dole said, Strong leader is required to make equal world. Strong leader needs strong power. Yeah? Kongol will get strongest power. Dart needs Kongol, so Kongol go. Kongol, what are you talking about? Wait for him here. Yes, he must do his own personal trial. Perfect time to do it. End of the world, and we all, oh, now are doing fucking basically side quests. It's like personal side quests, but also part of the main story. Brother, I became stronger. Oh, your brother. Is it your brother, or is it just like a tribe thing? Like, you know, how kind of like, um, I don't know, like certain like Indian tribes or, you know, just something like that. They refer to one another like as family, even though they're not blood related. Brother, the strongest. Congo and Maya, brother. Brother, Congo's pride. I see. Brother, Congo needs power to help Dot to save world. Oh, I see. Brother. Kongul overcomes now. Kongul overcomes, brother. Come! Yeah, I think I have everything equipped on uh, Kongul. I probably could have put like a phantom shield or something on it, but oh well. It's not that really important. This is a fairly easy battle. It's just the Battle of the Brutes. He's got way cooler armor than us. Even though we have our golden dragoon armor, it just doesn't show. Chosen with this little flapping dong, which is okay. Uh, we will... Why not use these, right? Now I'm gonna speed down him. It can't hurt, right? I don't know if it helps too much. Congo's speed is pretty ass. Yeah, I could have put either Bandit's Ring or Phantom Shield. Probably Bandit's Ring would have been a little more useful. Alright, get your second turn, hopefully. Come on. Thank you. We we'll also power down you. And oh sweet, okay, they give me another turn. And power up us. Yeah. It's not gonna be my turn again, is it? Oh no it's not. Oh, oh boy, ouch, ouch. Ooh, yeah. in the gut. Dude! That's a fucking strength, and that's a pretty badass haircut. Ouch. Ha! <laughs> 84, yeah. This battle is fucking stupid. <laughs> it's so easy. Probably because of the armor, the, uh, dragon armor. Pursuit! Pursuit! Have we seen Pursuit yet? I don't even know if I've fought a single battle with Congo. I'm not even sure. What do you mean, were we? Can you fucking... You bluffing asshole. Well, I think his speed down stuff's already gone. Oh, you can do this attack. You know, the attack that did nothing, but looks like it should do so much. Apparently, Kongo is just a fucking brick. No, he has power down, that's why. It, and, and, and we have power up. I would normally do, I think, like 200. So. It's nice to get that stuff out of the way. Well, I think his power down is now gone. Pfft. Such a weakling. Oh, you can do this again. Okay, see, this, you'll, you'll probably see this do a little more now. I'm gonna say... Yeah, I'll say like 200. 210. Still junk. Okay, a little less. Whatever. Just let me kill you, sir. I mean you no harm, except all the harm in the world. Oh, yeah. He's got the Kongle uh, gimmick, too, where if you mess up your addition, he, like, does a... Uh, it's like a certain counterattack. Doesn't really do much. Oh my god, Kong, you're so slow. Yeah, so definitely put a bandit's ring on him uh, when you do this fight. Otherwise, you'll fucking take forever. Doom, doom. Do, 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 do. You could probably do magic too, like a magic item if you'd like. But I mean, even though his magic defense is really low, our magic attack is really low, so it's like give or take. Oh, that probably is better than physically attacking. Let's uh, let's try that out. Oh, there we go. See, I knew that did something. Okay, what do we got? Oh, uh, yeah, I already sold all that stuff. Okay, we can do this. Why not? Yeah. 
bar. Boom, yeah. I've had a feeling I was going to do quite a lot. I don't think he, he doesn't have too much LP, or... No, he's not dead, is he? Yeah, he is. Couldn't remember if that was a uh, special attack or the death animation. Dun, Andor's Axe. That's Kongo's ultimate weapon. And it's pretty damn good from what I remember. Damn good. Kongol, a hero. The strongest hero of Gigantos. Brother, go. Go to the people who need your power. Brother, Kongol is to fulfill desire, is to fulfill the power of destruction. To care for, for others is the power of truth. You received our power to overcome Indora. The strongest power, Kongol, the pride of Indora. Well done. <laughs> Brother! Oh, you poor little thing. Me. See? Yes. Well, that's kind of weird. I don't know why he has to kill his brother, but... It's some weird giganto thing I don't understand about pride and power. Uh, I don't really get it. I didn't really go much into his backstory. Apparently he has a brother that he needed to kill for power. I, I, yeah, sure. Why not? It's not a moon anymore, it's the flesh of the God of Destruction. And what the God of Destruction wants to show us is Annihilation. Let's go, we gotta look for Darton Rose. Yes, let's, let's do it. Alright, uh, we can actually go down here, get a little more item. And we're gonna come over to here, what doesn't look like much, but it is indeed a lavar. A laboratory. DD, get out of my laboratory. And get us our dragon armor, which if you bought earlier, you didn't really need to do. But um, I guess it's nice to have it before the fight. I mean, we don't really need our money anymore, so it's like, yeah, kind of pointless. But I guess it was for people who were poor and didn't want to grind or I don't know. <sighs> ah, sorry, so there she just got out of work. It was so slow today, oh my god. I worked, uh, 12... Well, like, we normally have, like, two... When you work a double, it basically means, like, a double shift. You work a lunch shift and a dinner shift. Um, sorry, I'm the wrong way. The wrong way! There should be a portal somewhere. Where the fuck is it? Is it over here? Yeah, there it is. thought so. Um, yeah, so, like, the lunch shift... He's usually from like, if you get there like either 11 or 12, usually go on break by like 3. I, if I came in at 12 and I got my break at 1 because it was that slow. And then I came on at 2.30 and then, yeah, see we get dropped off here anyway, now you can just get it. I don't know why I waited till now, I could just wait until before, but oh well. You know, just to give Albert a little more screen time, of course. Because I do like him so much. Flash all. Yeah, it's an attack item. That's what I thought. Granted, a good attack item, but, you know. Well, actually, is Flash all the uh, powerful one, or is that the. Or Spectral Flash? The. Uh, spectral. Yeah, Spectral Flash and the Flash Hall. I'm curious. Where the fuck is it? Huh. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay, I, no, I was wrong. It's thunder. Makes it sound like a light one, but, uh, okay. Whatever. And you don't need to go back. I don't know why they even show it. It's like, there's nothing in there. Not really, I don't really understand that. Oh, well, I kind of forgot to end the last episode, so this is going to streamline into this one. Actually, I don't know, how long is this? Yeah, I don't want this episode to be that long. Um... I want to do like 15 minute parts, so... Yeah, we just gotta go back through here. So basically, like, what's gonna happen is you're gonna like, go through a part, and then return to the base, go through a part, return to the base, go through a part, return to the base. You know, and each time, usually... I guess I do that just so you can like, heal up and stuff. We couldn't find Dart anywhere. 
Maybe it's better to wait for them somewhere rather than just blindly look around. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. I mean, they do know this area, so... Why not? Let's just wait here. They'll show up. It's Dart and Rose! What could possibly they could run into? That might be at all difficult. And you'd be surprised as to what is actually difficult around here. This area is kind of sick. It's like the Cave of Mortal uh, Dragon. It's a, I'm pretty sure it's the same exact music. Yeah, what, what the fuck? Why did why did your shit attack us? What, explain your shit. What the hell? That is moving in the back. Okay, that's still alive, and that is monstrous. Like, that's its heart. It's the size of us. Maybe? So it purposely attacked us knowing that we would fall into a pit to here? I somehow find that odd. Yeah. Come on now. Um... Yeah, this always freaked me out. Like, I remember this part, I was like, fuck. Like, what am I gonna have to fight? Like, this this thing's gonna awaken? But, uh... Oh, hey, what the hell are these little guys? Oh, a baby dragon. Or a pseudo-dragon, which is kind of weird. Just called a baby dragon, really? Oh, look at them, they look so weird. Kill it! Kill it with fire! <laughs> oh, it comes in peace. Break its legs! <laughs> The, uh, for someone who didn't understand, that's the Aliens episode of The Simpsons. A great episode, by the way. There's, uh, like the one part where Homer's, like, running through the forest after he sees the, uh, the alien. And he comes up to a sign. It's like a giant billboard in the middle of the forest for some reason. And, uh, the trees... <sighs> the trees are covering it. And it says, Die. And then the trees sway, or like, like okay, so like there's a board, and it's on it, it says die. And he screams, and then the trees move, and it shows that it says die it. <laughs> and he still screams, because it's like Homer, and it's like just as bad as death. It's like, die it, no, death, no. Oh, it's fucking great. I'm, I'm sure you could probably find that clip. And uh, you can't really go, this is the exit over here, so when you try and go, well, actually, Dart will just be like, well, I guess you'll know where to go instinctively. Like, they know that this is the exit, even though they've never been to this weird place. It's kind of funny. Um, there's actually a monster that you can fight here. I'll try and show it. It is fucking tough. And uh, I'm actually going to... Um, put some stuff on. Just because if I do run into it, I don't feel like getting my asshole plunged. Oh, actually, that was a good weapon uh, the thing to do. Yeah, stun guard. Yeah, this little bastard of a... Uh, actually, let me see what armor she has. This little bastard of an enemy can... Uh, God damn it, it hit the wrong button. Can basically, like, stun lock you. And it's funny I say that because it actually does, like, the stun command. It completely just fucks you over and keeps you there forever. It's really shitty. It's really shitty. Um... I could have gave you a legend cask, but oh well. Yeah, you don't have anything, right? No. Alright, I guess that's okay. And uh, they eyed that chest we passed, actually. This is the way to it. You gotta go up here and then just it drops you back off and makes you go around. Hey, this is the bastard. You get a lot of experience from this fucker, but he's kinda tough. Um, do not slack on him. Because he will, like I said, try fucking Triceratops. Okay, I got dragons, but I didn't know the dinosaurs were in this. Are we gonna fight a T-Rex too? Yeah, see? Stun. And look, it does a fucking lot of damage. Like... Yeah, and he is just all around tough. Um, he's got high, uh, whatchamacallit, I don't know what you want to call that. High, um, high defense and high attack, like physical wise. Oh, hold on. Yeah, so use this. This should either wipe them clean or take a good chunk of damage. Probably could have had Dart do it. Might have done a little more, but oh well. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, that attack. 
Yeah, this guy is pretty fucking strong, no lie. So, do not be afraid to hold back because... And also, just make sure with these, like I said, every attack he does is stun, pretty much, except that tail whip. But, uh, picture just being stunned and then having him do that, and just getting both your characters just stun-locked. It fucking sucks. Like, he didn't give me a game over, but it was damn close. Fuck, dude. This guy is tough. And this is just a random enemy. This is, without a doubt, probably the hardest enemy in the, um... In the, in the moon, which is ridiculous. This thing. A fucking random Triceratops is the hardest enemy on the moon. I never thought I'd say that sentence. I probably could have waited to do that. Oh, I can do a little tail smack. And why can I fucking do Blazing Dynamo? God damn it. There we go. It's not that difficult, man. It bothers me when I can't do that stuff. But, uh, yes, you also get a ton of experience from this guy. Fucking 2,000. Really? That's fucking phenomenal. So, uh, this is actually a pretty good spot if you like to grind these two. Um, sure, I mean, go for it if you'd like. But, uh, I don't know. It's really not worth it. <laughs> I mean, it's so late game and you're only really leveling up these two characters. But, like, I guess if you use them, that's pretty damn good. Well, actually, yeah, that's definitely really good. For if for whatever you're using, you're using uh, Rose and Dart, like for your final party or something like that, it's fucking grind here. Things are awesome. Awesome sauce, Triceratops sauce. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, actually, another new enemy. This guy I rarely see though. I mostly run into baby dragons and that triceratops, not this floating air combat. <laughs> Such a stupid name. You have all these dragon names you could come up with. You come up with air air combat. Sure. If, can we fight like an air force gator? That'd be cool. Yeah, which kind of stinks. You have to like limit your um your accessories to stun stun guard and because of that one stupid enemy you can't change mid fight so it's like all right whatever um i probably could use her jacket and heal but whatever we're in no we're in no danger fucking a come on i get so annoyed with that Uh, it's a miracle that I even like fresh, like hard, difficult games when like the smallest things of this annoy me. But it's like I know that I have very good skill with video games, so when I can't do like the simplest of actions like in a game, it frustrates me to no end. Like I literally just, oh, you're gonna die, you're gonna die. Okay, good. Stop. <laughs> Just have you card. <laughs> Plus, I don't even need to do your additions or anything, so you could just... Ah, sit. <sighs> like, it's like a timing thing. Like, it's... I don't know. It just bugs me. I shouldn't really care. I should just be like, alright, whatever, we can get it. But no, I freak out every time. Now I'm starting to get the hang of it. It's gonna be a relief not to record it. It's not because I don't like this game, but just to finally like play something different for a change. Be very, very happy with that. Um Yeah, I'll use a fog on you. Why not? Okay, let's move on. Let's finish this area. Alright, actually, this is a good spot to end this. Um, should be the second time I'm ending this, but alright. Uh, next time on Let's Play Legend of Dragoon, we'll find Michael and figure out what the hell it wants and to do with us, or whatever is going on with this weird moon section, so. Alright guys, I'll see you later.